Hi, I'm Janet, and you're watching Awesome Movies. If you're under the impression that a zombie apocalypse is no laughing matter, we're about to prove you wrong. Lenny James, Lenny James, Lenny, Lenny James. How to build a zombie. It goes without saying that the key ingredient for the success of The Walking Dead is the undead. The zombies are the real stars of the show. <laughs> and not only do these Frankenstein-esque creations add authenticity, but they take hours to perfect. And that's probably why the costume and props people over at The Walking Dead have added a sneaky secret to make their lives easier. The zombies are easily recyclable. All that's needed to make a new walker is another coat of makeup and maybe a little more blood. This is particularly important when you don't want the stars to recognize a specific zombie. Zombie pank. Voila! There you go. Zombie wow. selfie. I'm ready to go. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Hi, I'm Norman Reedus. I play Daryl in The Walking Dead. Oh, me, 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 me. Go, 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 go. Ah! <laughs> you f***er. <laughs> What's up, dude? But when you work with the sheer volume of zombies we've seen on The Walking Dead, it's not always easy to keep track of everyone. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good old jump scare? That's horror gold. But actually, the creepiness embodied throughout The Walking Dead is that it doesn't rely on jump scares and traditional tactics. For this show, getting the viewers front and center in the gore and action is what makes it work. Well, that and the enormous crew responsible for bringing the undead back to life. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hi. I'm Andrew Lincoln, and this is a norm witch. Oh. It's a chase sensation. The balance between sweet and sour, chewy and cheesy is just... Now, why is it that when you have food in your mouth, you have an American accent? Mm, I don't know. The cast may have changed over the years, but one thing that unites them is a sense of professionalism. And luckily for us, this professionalism is just on screen. Because off screen, it's a whole other ball game. <laughs> Die Hard fans of the show are sure to know all about the bromance between Andrew Lincoln, who plays Rick, and Norman Reedus, the actor who plays Daryl. They may not always have the best relationship on screen, but the actors behind the rules are BFFs in real life. Coincidentally, they're also the two biggest pranksters on set. <laughs> He's still going, dude. <laughs> and they don't just prank each other. No one on the cast is safe from their shenanigans. <laughs> no, it's amazing. It's amazing. You're you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> much excited to be back. Of course, every now and then, the other actors can't help but join in the fun. We wrote a little song. Oh yeah, let me hear our song, song again. Carol is sterile and Daryl is feral. A match. Made in hell. But apart from Norman and Andrew's bromance, it seems just about everyone on set gets on really well, even characters who are enemies on screen. Basically, the cast of The Walking Dead is just one big happy family, with some members just a little closer than others. <laughs> Naturally, there's an exception to every rule. So when Norman Reedus was asked how he feels about his fellow actors, he couldn't help but give an honest answer. Uh, I don't know, some of them are cute, some of them are... <laughs> now, if only he'd clarify who was who. At least the rest of the cast has no problems working together. Great, and everybody loves each other, and it's just fun to have a break. From Shut up! Them. Maybe we spoke too soon. That says it all. That says it all. I'm a plus out right. Of course, if you ask any of the actors who the real MVPs are behind the scenes, they'll all tell you it's the crew. Without the team behind the camera, we'd never get to see the awesomeness that is The Walking Dead. 
we definitely have the best crew. This is probably the best job ever. So does anybody know if they're still casting? Asking for a friend. The fine art of storytelling. The Walking Dead writers have proven that they are kings of the unexpected. And ahead of the 11th season, the fates of our favorite characters are anyone's guess. But how much do the actors actually know about their storylines and what the future holds for them? It turns out, not so much. You know more than I do. They just give me a disco bat and, we, and I dance. Disco baby, sexy baby, hot. So it makes sense that these guys need to be prepared for anything. And luckily, they have each other to help them prepare. Shit on action. Shit on, shit on action. 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 <laughs> <laughs> However, there are downsides to being part of a large group too, because any mistakes that you make together are instantly recognizable. Oops, it's a video. <laughs> <laughs> Barnacles! Ooh, that's a little awkward. At least they all have one thing in common, other than having to survive a zombie apocalypse, that is. And that's their opinion on Negan. Negan! Ooh, God, I hate that guy. No, I love that guy. Okay, I lied. The jury's still out on that one. Longevity, how to stay undead. Before we start to predict what lies ahead in the 11th season of The Walking Dead, let's reflect on how the cast has stayed on top of their game for so many years. One of the key ingredients to any successful shoot, it seems, is coffee, and a lot of it. Steven and I have been sitting here drinking Starbucks coffee for a while now, and. They say that there are no ill effects, but... I feel fine! I feel fine, too! <laughs> but another important part of being a successful actor is confidence, and some of the Walking Dead cast have this in abundance. Come on, any day, any time. I'll meet you. Parking lot, octagon, my mom's house. Thanks, man. You're next. <laughs> but the most important part of the show's success is all up to the amazing makeup department. We have the thick blood here. You can see that's very corn syrupy. And this is KY jelly with blood added to it. And that's the blood kit. It feels pretty real to me. I don't know how it looks. And boy, do they have their work cut out for them. And then we'll put wardrobe on it. Then we'll put a wig on it. So this walker will be walking around going, How's it going? Please don't kill me. And then he'll get knocked over. And sometimes, the special effects team has to really get into the heads of the actors to ensure that their grisly creations will be up to task. You are dead. I don't like you. I'm Andrea right now. Oh, oh, oh. Recreating famous scenes from The Walking Dead. Ah, oh, look at that as I break everything. On the other hand, another way to ensure that your show stays a hit is to deliver quality content. And for that, not only do the actors need to know their lines, but they need to be believable. Truthfully, that's tougher than these amazing actors make it look. I guess even actors make mistakes, right? A whole lot of love. Of course, we're not the only ones who adore The Walking Dead. Rick and his fellow survivors have earned themselves fans across the world. Um, Kenichiwa. Thank you very much. Do you want to practice your lines I taught you? Toilet, what is it? Toilet wa tokodeska. Can I just like, can I tell you something? It doesn't mean like it's... Oh, you son of a And for anyone wondering, what he really said was, where's the bathroom? So what's it like being so well-known? It turns out, it's not always a great thing. I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And though we've had to say goodbye to the most iconic actor on the show. Uh, hey, Costa Rica, this is uh, Andrew Lincoln. Uh, I'm quite dirty. This is, who's this? <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's Norman. We have no doubt that there's still an epic storyline on the way, so watch this space. Who's your favorite actor from The Walking Dead? And what are you hoping is in store for them in the upcoming season? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, stay walking and stay awesome!